India has a population of 1.21 billion. Of this, 39 percentage are children. Children below 0 to 18 age group is roughly 472 million. The World Report says that by 2020, India will have the youngest population. We need to make sure that's an educated, qualified population that we have. We need to make sure they're all learning. <laughs> ILP stands for India Literacy Project. ILP is basically enabling children to get access, enrollment, retention to schools, which is their fundamental right through the government system. Lodi Garden, it is located in Delhi. We work with only government schools because we feel that there is enough within the system, but we have to make the system to deliver. That's what ILP does. So I work with the community, work with the government, make sure the schools are all functioning and children are learning well in these schools. This is Bandi Kavanur village. It's located in Thiruvallur district. Hi! 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 I'm Rangarajan. I'm working with India Literacy Project as country manager. This chamber has got about uh, 50 families, huh? Fifty families, meaning hundred workers, migrant workers, had come for this 2018 season. They come with family, with small kids or children, and then you know they live in these places like this for six months, a year to have seasonal employment. So the problem we have is when they bring their kids also, then their education is totally affected. There are 500 such brick kilns in Thiruvallur district. 290 brick kilns, we are directly working. 21,750 families. School poor pasangir nangla. Okay, 15 kids were school going age. About 10 kids were in the age of going to pre primary Anganwadi centers. We had to do evidence based advocacy in the sense we had to do our own enumeration, our own survey, our own data collection and prove the government know there are so many children in the age group of 0 to 3, 3 to 6 and 6 to 14 are coming and they are not going to school and they have to be educated and that's the duty of the government, that's something we had to bring it up. Now everything has been formalized because of our continuous persistent efforts now, you know, the government has passed orders that all children who are coming during migration season have to be given all these facilities like at par with whatever the other children are getting. Another thing to remember is a lot of the rural children are first generation learners. And if you're a first generation kid and you don't understand a lot of context, the class can be heavy and boring, right? And so what do we do? How do we help the teacher make the classroom come alive? Okay, next. There is no sufficient of water in Plateau so that the people came back to Delhi. We are building the capacity of school teachers to use child-friendly teaching methodologies to educate the children in different ways. Who is the first ruler of Gilji dynasty? For the last two years, we have been partnering with Google in terms of uh, creating contents for uh, using Google Earth Voyager. We have tried to map the state syllabus for government schools and using Google Voyager, we have created contents. So these are available open source and you know, the way social science is being taught to school children in these places, that becomes more meaningful now. The children today are really exposed to a lot of information and are ready to absorb it. Because that, uh, the video images, it's very easy to store in our mind. More importance is given for the child to interact, communicate, learn, grow, explore. In the book, I read it in the book, but I read it in the book. I read it in the book, and I read it in the book. I read it in the book, and I read it in the book. 
ஏதாவது ட்ராயிங் பண்ண சொன்னது பண்ணலாம் அவங்க என்ன பண்ணாங்களோ பின்னாடி நல்லா வரலாம் we feel education is the most important tool for uh, empowering human beings every one of us in ilp believe that it's about just giving the gift of opportunity education is opportunity for us and then children will do wonders with it we are showing this uh, lesson oriented pictures everything they are learning more and more we are giving the more experience to the children in the classroom the classroom is very lively as a teacher who have been teaching for 45 years now i always visualize that the child should sit and enjoy learning and giving the child a sort of a, a, a glow in the eye that i learned something today sky is the limit we can explore many more areas we can scale up our operations we can definitely try to reach much more children who are in need of support we can really help all of them to come up in their lives